Yo, yo, guys, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another live stream. Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Um, so today we're going to cast the $1,000 Air Force Tournament Grand Final. However, I have started the stream about 40 minutes early. And the reason I've done that is because I want to test if my computer is going to be crashing again like it was um, uh, yesterday. So yeah, we, we booted it up 40 minutes early and I plan to just play a couple of games until then. I've got this new Christmas map. That might make it might be just a little bit of fun since it is, uh, well, the end of the Christmas period now, but uh, I might as well, uh, might as well try this. Uh, rule one, transfer and re. <laughs> So yeah, we've got Excal against Fargo in 40 minutes. Uh, 17 GMT. Right, I see Winter. Right, I just need to tell these guys. Transfer and regame. Okay. So yeah, best of 13 it will be today. Excal against Fargo starting in, well, less than 40 minutes now. 36 minutes, actually. So yeah, we're just going to kill a bit of time. But yeah, if you were watching the stream yesterday, you'll see my computer's back to crashing again. Like every hour or so of streaming, its computer just completely freezes and locks up. Uh, I really i am struggling to find out what it is. But overnight, I've updated my chipset drivers and my BIOS to the very latest, literally like a 10 days old BIOS for my uh, Ryzen PC. So I'm hoping that the chipset update has fixed things. I don't think I'd updated that for a hell of a long time. And apparently that's what controls my RAM. And I think that's what's controlling um, the crashes. So hoping that it's fixed. But yeah, that's why we booted things up early. Just to play a few games. And if my computer crashes during these games, it's not as big as issue as if it crashes in some massive $1,000 tournament <laughs> grand final, is it? So yeah, we played it a little bit smarter today. All right, we need to read this. Unit we need to read this. Been... Apparently, we need to like capture Christmas trees and all kinds of stuff in there. So. All right, uh, let's build the bot as well. Right, quite a few left there, so maybe we'll just go with that amount, maybe. We need to transfer again. <laughs> oh man, we need to transfer it to these people again. Yo, Queen Muff. Yo, yo. I don't think it's the bot causing the issues, to be honest. I think it's uh, I think it's actually my PC. It's ever since I changed my CPU and RAM. I had a 5900X, if you know what CPU that is, and I upgraded it to a 5950X and with different RAM. And ever since that happened, it's been causing all kinds of issues. I wish I just stuck with the old processor, man, because I only got like a 10% improvement in performance and I spent loads of cash to get there. Uh... Oh no, wait. Uh, where's that guy gone, man? <sighs> Need to transfer and read to Warpig because he doesn't have the map. Yeah, he doesn't have the map. He doesn't have the map. Queen Muff says Dummy's not wearing back. black. Yeah, true. I like black. <laughs> Yo, Dazzle. Happy New Year to you all, by the way. Really wanted to do the countdown last night. Honestly, I wanted to stream until midnight, and then I had a cool little trailer thing for you for the last three minutes of the countdown. But I had three PC crashes. So... 
Let's hope for a more successful 2022. Right, we need to cancel this because we just transferred. That's annoying with these uh, transfers. Right, let's go now. Should work. We've got two USAs there, which is pretty good, I think. Super weapon in three fools is good. Laser good too. Right, hopefully it's going to work now. Whoever doesn't join now, we just kick him. Or we just go without him, I mean. So yeah, 32 minutes until the Air Mirror Finals. This is just some test games to make sure... Oh, this Amon, Amon guy doesn't have it. Sorry, Amon, you got to go now. Okay, so you got to capture some Christmas trees. <laughs> you got to capture some Christmas trees. Got to capture your Christmas tree. Building the Chinese and we will live in prosperity. Let's take a look. Mm, nice location. Construction is complete. Let's build. Ah, yes. That's a good choice. Let's try and get these oils. Yeah, I might get that. Players die after a time it runs out without capturing a Christmas tree. Nothing will happen after capturing the other player's Christmas tree. Is complete. Construction is complete. Uh... We have big plans. Ah, yes. A very good plan, General. Hey. Please dive to that. Uh. We stand together. Ready for orders. Building is complete. We will live in prosperity. Let's build. Hmm. Let's take a look. That's a good choice. Together. Upgrade yes. complete. Yes, that building looks safe. Defenders of peace. What the? Oh, what the hell? Building is complete. Construction have big plans. We stand together. You just go inside the oil. The people's army. Weird. Yes. Let's pick up some China cars. has been generous. I am unable to build there. Okay, that's kind of weird. I'll get this tree fast. Construction built to Yo, my lord. China. Welcome to this chat. Welcome in there, GNX. Construction is complete. We stand together. Pending attention. Moving now, sir. We are the Red Guard. Defenders of peace. Can't get we the Christmas tree. Plans. It will look real nice when it's done. Go restart Wi Fi. Ready for action. <laughs> you. <laughs> Man, how am I. Uh... We will live in prosperity. I don't really know yes. what to do. Have I. Oh, there's my tree. China's border. <laughs> really confused. There's a boss dozer coming in a bit, actually. So I don't really know how I'm going to get that oil, to be honest. War pig is DC'd. Vote. Can I kill that oil with a flamer? Because it's firing like scorpion bullets from it, so. Let's just kill that. Let's make a nuke. Let's make a Let's make a nuke. It will look real nice when it's done. <laughs> Let's build. Looks promising. Everything ready here. Ten hundred here. Yes, General. Adjusting gas valves. Let us get closer. Pressure levels set. 
Keep it steady. Defenders of peace. Temperatures stable. Storage tanks sealed. Pressure levels set. Keep the cylinders oiled. Ready for order. So why can't I get that oil for myself now? That's what I don't understand. Enemy tanks out there? Pending attention. Gun barrel spinning. We'll tail to the people's armor. army. Understood. We are the red guy. Captured me Christmas tree. Um, we have big plans. Kind of weird to be honest. I don't really like too much these heavily edited game modes. Like you can garrison a uh, an oil derrick. Our power is low. We have big plans. We Why is that going back like that? Does our area disappear? Is that all? I know. I don't think so, because your Christmas trees are. This is the Overlord tank. I am me. What is next? Attack that one. I am me. This better be good. I'm carrying the big gun. Let's find the tank. Moving rocket launcher. On the hunt. Get them. What do you need? Construction unit lost. We have big plans. Subliminal messaging upgrade is going to crush. In a moment, right, I want to kill that. Um... This is the Overlord tank. I oh man, I'm gonna lose my Overlord. Yeah, like I can't even get that now. That doesn't make any sense. I don't like these. It's right. too Let's heavily edited. Oh wait, my cash is dried up now. Um. We stand together, ready for order. Enemy tanks out there? I like the yes, big right away. Ah yeah, I just prefer it to be a normal oil, maybe an indestructible oil or something. <laughs> China's rocket soldier, moving rocket launcher. We will be generous. So yeah, now we can't get any oils. Make in flight. Objective sighted. Kill some stuff here. Is it clear? Oh man, I don't even have the upgrade. That's bad, isn't it? He's got hackers. Is it clear? Played this wrong, so I haven't got my hackers. So. Need a transfer. Quickly. Strapped in and ready. I don't have the nuke mega up like This is awful. Heading confirmed. Give me a job. Oh. That's right. Let's move. Got it. That's right. Sure. That's right. Quickly. Aircraft standing by. The mother of all weapons. The final word. So he's captured that bag, but like how? <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense. I uh, don't understand. Can you repair that? Someone else is going to go on the DC screen now, I think. Oh, TK Leo's in the chat. I like that because he's the creator of Beyond This Map. <laughs> he says you need to capture a Christmas tree or you die. All right, we've got a tree. Build a scaffold in the tree process. I already have the tree. I captured it ages ago. Look, it says it belongs to Santa. <laughs> there is a boss dozer coming in 249 there. Let's get another iced coffee. I don't think I've got enough time to run downstairs. Last time I ran downstairs, a rebel captured one of my power plants. And I came back and didn't know about it. There's a meme video coming about that by Inia very soon. <laughs> Maybe tonight. Some funny things have been happening on Zero Hour recently, man. The Spectre Sonic Boom we heard yesterday. The the UN flying crate that we saw the other day flew across the whole map like a UFO. 
uh, the map where we were like zoomed out, like looking at it from a satellite view. <laughs> right, is that guy? That guy's dead now. We were just about to steal all of his cash. Let's get his tree. I don't think he does anything apparently, but let's get his tree anyway. Well, pink seems better now. We've got one nuke mig, but we haven't got any... Oh, he's on Aurora's. MIG in flight. Setting new course. No system is safe. Aircraft standing by. No system Setting is new safe. course. Aircraft standing by. MIG in flight. Setting new course. MIG in route. Setting new course. Heading confirmed. Altering course. MIG in route. Heading confirmed. MIG in route. No Copy system that. Is safe. Please! You MIG in lost. Yeah, worth it. Missiles won't get through. I can cripple mm, their facility. Don't think I'm gonna win with nuke somehow. Batteries charged. It is time. I am big. Oh man, not with that in my base. That's GG. You know, if he kills my hackers, that's it. Why is he not killing my hackers? That's GG. Why is he not killing the hackers, man? That's more important. This is the Overlord tank. What is it? Is it clear? I will crush. Link cables ready set up there. There's always a way in. Black Lotus has been discovered. Extra large. Our base is being attacked! What the hell? I am big. I can get more than the instructions received. I'll suck the internet dry. It is time. I will tell you everything I need. I think I can hear them. Overlord is waiting. Um. I built for China. Looks promising. We have big plans. I am ready for order. ECM tank. What I'm do listening. you need? Where is this? Sure, let's thing? move. Oh my god, the amount of EMPs he's got now is ridiculous. Construction is complete. I build. Can't, I can't win this game, but we're basically just yeah, testing to make sure my PC doesn't crash anyway. So. Sure, that's right. It is. <clears throat> Blue's definitely one. There's nothing I can do here. Big plans. Got a new Gradius. Black Lotus has been discovered. I will I'm listening. Crush. Let's move. Need a transfer. Mm, nice I location. Adjusting frequency. Relocating it up. This is the order. I will assess the situation I'll soon. Let's move. It is time. Unit lost. <laughs> I am. What do you need? Extra large. Building the tank I built for China. This is the Overlord tank. What do Our you nuclear need? missile is ready, Extra General. Please, what do you even hit there? China is under attack! Extra large. We have Chill launched up. our nuclear missile. Mission rate steady. It is time. Congratulations, General. You have been promoted. Overlord is waiting. General, our base is under attack. Oh, my God. You get the location. Hmm. Yes, How is he back? We have discovered an enemy colonel button. The people's army. You get the location. Yes, that's moving operations. Do you hear something? Lost. Let's go with the chapel. Do you hear something? Hey, let's go with the chapel in hand. ZM tank. Tune into the enemy. Do you hear something? Man, I hate this guy. I hate him. That's my chance is gone now. China is under attack. Tune into the enemy. ZM tank. Let's move. That's it. Sure. That's right. Let's move. China's I don't like how I can't get my oars back. Uh, I think it must need to be on 100%. <clears throat> this is the Overlord tank. Unit lost. 
Hmm. I hope he loses. I hope he loses. <laughs> oh, we are 100% dead there. Bit confusing, yeah. I, the, the oil's stressing me out, man. My whole strat was around securing them oils, but. Yeah, what is, he must be the boss because he's got everything. How did how did he get the boss dose? Where did it even spawn? Where did it even spawn? Seventeen minutes until the Amara tournament. That's a nice play, man. So yeah, he started a super weapon gen. What the hell? <laughs> TK Leo creation. Everybody must get a Christmas tree. Pink, pink can win now. Novices, Auroras. Some gigantic boss dozer. If you actually look at what... Because most of these crazy mods, like the giant robot mod, for example, they add zero models together. So if you actually look what that is, it looks like a USA dozer with a combined with a giant ECM. I think that's what it is. Maybe something else on the base as well. Uh, oh no, it's just a, it's just a giant ECM and a USA dozer. That's all it is. Final start since fifteen minutes. But as I said before, we just started it early because my PC was crashing last night, so we're just basically t checking. If it crashes now, it's kind of okay. I can restart it, but if it crashes during the grand finals. It's kind of not very good, is it? So. Tommy Slav says, Dommy, one bunker in Snowflake, please. $220 every two seconds income. Really? So is that why he's getting crazy cash? Who is that guy anyway? Jewer. Um. He's not getting two hundred dollars a second, but he is getting decent cash. Warning, a particle cannon has been detected. Mm, not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So where does the boss dozer spawn? <laughs> How did he get it? No. Yeah. Well, he's got a particle cannon now. I don't think Pink has got any chance. Oh, he's got a boss dozer as well. What the hell? How come everyone's got a boss except me? <laughs> Unless that it spawned back here and I just missed it, or is it because I built a nuke over it? man. Someone drops down that amount of EMPs, it's very difficult to get anything done, especially as, especially as new could you got over it. But yeah, Pink, uh, Pink's lost here, man. When I first saw this map, I actually thought that because, because of these white bits here, I thought eventually they would, like, freeze over or something and you'd be able to cross. 
Seems not. It, do, it does seem like... The, I don't know if it's just my PC because the water... The, the waves are moving so quick, but... It does seem like those bits of white look out of place, don't they? Yeah, when you increase the FPS, the, the water looks kind of crazy, actually. Um, Osfrontation says, all oh, the previous videos on this channel about this challenge. Uh, don't think so, actually. Don't think so. I literally skipped straight to the grand final. Don't think so. He's just wrecking everything. Yeah, Ping made a mistake. I mean, yeah, he did a good attack and he was killing me, but now he just lost to Blue. I already told you Blue was the most powerful. I don't even know why he's still in the game, actually. <laughs> I really don't. Upload section says, is this really 1k or are you just kidding? There's no kidding ever on this channel. It's really $1,000. It's a grand final. The winner of the best of 13, not not here. The winner of the best of 13 MRA that starts in 10 minutes is $1,000 for the winner. I really don't know what Pink's doing, actually. Uh, I have no clue what he's doing. He's also behind in oils. I think these can be repaired and then re-garrisoned. Megatron said it spawned in the middle, the boss dozer. We've got 128 until the boss dozer spawns again. Aurora's just going straight into the base. I'm not hitting the tunnels yet. I think hitting them front tunnels was more, more important. Because he actually, I think he scanned them and they were revealed. So we just want to take away the front tunnels of the GLA and just push him right back. Because then he's got limited options on where he can pop. If you shoot over, then of course he's going to pop at the front. Because then he can shoot down the Aurora's on the exit. He's even making Aurora's now, this guy. Yeah, just like it's like it's like playing General Alexander on uh, the challenges, zero challenges. Yo, Pablo, welcome back. Why can't he build a helix? Even if he did drop a helix and drop we a work around the back defeated. and start building tunnel, one Aurora comes, just wipes it out. This, that's it. Super weapon gen is very, very powerful. Like, later game it is, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about these edited game modes in general, to be honest, especially when you don't really know what you're doing. Maybe we'll just play a quick four-player one while we've got 10 minutes to spare. I think we do have some four-player maps. Um... Like a giant penis. There's no feud I see. Just try that. But I got nine minutes until the uh, mirror tournament final, so just try just try one random thing. <clears throat> I edited the bot yesterday, by the way, so the heist now pays out 55%. And you have a higher chance of winning as well. Oh, no, nice. Nope. I don't think I've seen that model before. Building a Chinese empire. China will grow larger. Right, we need to hard rush now and kill four people in, in eight minutes. Otherwise, we have to just quit. Construction is China has been generous. Of course, I build for China. That's a good choice. Tell you their oven. A 
I'm carrying the big gun. On the hunt, tail through their armor. We'll tear through their armor. Building is complete. Look real nice when it's never seen this map before, by the way. And the Air Mirror Tournament Grand Final starts in eight minutes. Just killing some time here. Let's pick up some enemy tanks out there. Yes, General. China has been tear through their armor. Tank under here. We'll tear through their armor. I'm carrying mini gun out reporting for duty. Construction is complete. Defenders of peace. Ready for orders. Nothing will stop our I think he probably knows as it looks on the right way. Away. Moving now, sir. I build for China. Enemy tanks out there. Thunderstorm. Yeah. Install the Carrying the big gun. We have big Phoenix on the scene. Some Unit safety. lost. Making a flyby. Construction is complete. Make it worth my time. Making a flyby. China is you under have attack. A for me. Let's hold these guns. Let's hold these guns. Let's hold these guns. Yeah. What? Let's hold these guns. Like a ton of freaks. Who are they? We will live in prosperity. What do you have in mind? Make it worth my time. Like a ton of China's rockets are dead in their back. We're going to ruin somebody's day. Our base is being attacked! Yeah. What? Every tanks out there? Throw Make everything at them. My time. China's rockets are dead. of peace. I like the big targets. Throw everything at them. Throw everything at them. You Throw everything at them. Throw everything at them. Army. Foreign devil. Yes, I'm here. I like the big targets. We will what? live in prosperity. We're going to ruin some of you. Unit lost. Tanks under here. China is under attack! Enemy tanks out there? Get them. I like the big targets. Tank under here. The building is completely dead in their tracks. Well, we're not going to kill that many people in that short space of time, so I think we'll move on to the finals in a second. <laughs> Congratulations, General. You have been promoted. Enemy tanks out there? Get them. Track down the enemy. Tactical fighter reporting. Make in flight. China's Air Force. Tracking target. I'm carrying the big gun. Enemy tanks out there? China's rocket soldier. <laughs> Tactical fighter. Have to say that. I'm carrying the big gun. The enemy has broke everything at them. Strapped in and ready. Attacking you front. Making lost. flight. Strapped in and ready. Out there? Yeah. Get them. They're attacking our base. Carrying the big gun. Yes, General. Building the Chinese enemy tanks out there. I think we China. have big plans. Make in flight. Standing by. Tank under here. Make in flight. China's Air Force. Aircraft standing by. China's Air Force. Mini gunner reporting for duty. Make in flight. The people's enemy army. tanks out there. Yes, General. On the hunt. Track down the enemy. Well, we Track killed Salvizo, pretty much. China's rocket soldier. Our base Carrying is being attacked. Fight, Enemy tanks out there. Unit lost. China on peace. Understood. Tank hunter here. China has been generous. I'm carrying the big gun. Enemy tanks out there. Let's find tank China. hunter here. We'll tear through their armor. Carrying the it's big gun. In here. Make in flight. Construction. Enemy underground. China's air force. We defend China's airspace. 
setting new course. Congratulations, General. You have course. been promoted. Again, we need to go anyway. We need to go and wait for the place for the finals. For the Air finals. Someone said before, is it really a thousand dollars? Yes, yes it is. Bear with me a second. I need to be a rad. Just a one thousand dollar Air Force tournament. Everyone was allowed to play. It's a one thousand um, dollar um, prize. For the winner, nothing for second place, nothing for third place. It was a double elimination tournament. So you if you lost once, you could play in the loser bracket and then um, have another chance to win. And Fargo did do that. Fargo actually got knocked out by Excal already. So yeah, whilst that is happening, Faisal M in the chat says, Domi, I think I am pregnant from you. Hey. <laughs> right, let's have a look at this uh, bracket. <clears throat> right, okay, hopefully you can see this. This was the tournament. Uh, I've got the link for this in the description. So if you want to check this out, uh, be my guest. There's a live bracket there as well that you can see. All the rules are here. Things you need to know. Best of 13 for the finals. It's always on Tournament Desert. It's always Air Force Mirror. They will alternate taking top spot and bottom spot. And yeah, the map is on the Tournament Desert. It's $1,000. The winner takes all. So basically this set here will win. <laughs> Whoever wins will win $1,000. Fargo did already get knocked out by Excal once. I was in this tournament as well. I lost to Size. And then did I lose to Fargo as well? No wait, I lost to Fargo and I lost to Size. I lost to Fargo in a winner's bracket and I lost to Fargo in this in the loser's bracket. That's where I went out. Yeah, I went out here in the semi-finals. I don't know if I got third place or fourth place or whatnot. Probably fourth place. Something like that, I don't know. Uh, See, so yeah, I went here in the semi-finals. x already beat Fargo with 6-2. There were some pretty impressive strategies drawn up there. Millard9 actually streamed that one. If you want to go back and check it, you'll find it somewhere on YouTube, I'm sure. And, um, yeah, there were some very impressive strategies brought up by Excal. You probably think, oh, Air Mirror on Tournament Desert, it probably gets very samey. But Excal actually brought to the party a load of new strategies to that, which was kind of crazy. So I wonder what he's got prepared today, because Fargo will have obviously had time to adapt to that now as well. So, yeah, I lost to Size here. Then Fargo actually brought himself back by beating Size there in the loser's brackets. Then you get another chance at the winner's bracket. It's actually been a really good tournament. A shout out to Wind Beachman, which is uh, the sponsor for this. That was a test on tournament desert. Uh, okay. Sack. Uh, TD no books cards. <clears throat> but yeah, Fargo himself obviously brings very advanced strategies to the battlefield as well. Some of the ones from the recent casts we've seen. You may have seen where he played against. Uh, against Marikar where he, uh, he flames down his own units with a flame wall, flame down all of all of his own infantry, flame down his outposts and stuff like that. And the, the, the thought behind it is if you kill, obviously, your own units, then obviously the enemy uh, doesn't have any units to kill, so he can't get XP. It's very, very advanced. Excal obviously brought the advanced strategies in the previous set. Combined with that advancedness, Fargo is bringing as well. Uh, hopefully going to bring for a super, super round final here today. This is just a test, just doing a lag test. We've got Stad streaming here as well. He's streaming in the Russian language.
might go and grab another drink before this starts as well, while they're just doing a test. Uh, I think Stas has a good speed, to be honest. I played him with him a few times, just the differences we're all here together. Is that going to create any lag? It's 11 ping, which is only one one worse than a perfect ping. Perfect, well, latency is 10. It's the perfect. Perfect latency. The Fargo very good in air mirror, but Excal also very, very good. And I think a level above Fargo. So that, that explains the 6-2 previously, but is Fargo going to be able to bring it back here? The, in the previous games, there was like crazy things going on, like Vs versus combat Chinooks and all that kind of stuff. Was, uh, was a crazy... Dummy strat. Dummy start. <laughs> is he supposed to say dummy strat? But he can't. We, we know Fargo can't spell as well, so... Probably means to say Dummy Strap. He says Dummy Strap, but I actually did that against Boyker and still win the game. I dropped a fire base in Boyker's in Boyker's base. Yeah, this is just a test, by the way. It says nothing serious. Yeah, it's good. Very, very good. They need to uh, lose Game Ranger. Okay, then, baby. Oh, we're ready for the grand finals. Turn the muse down a tiny little bit. Let's go go air as USA better. Might be more balanced if he takes USA. Okay, let's see if Fargo is ready. Fargo's spelling is known to be very, very awful. He can't write time, <laughs> so he writes tome. <laughs> so that's why I've spelt things wrong there, by the way. <clears throat> oh man, where has he gone? Fargo also likes to, when he knows he's won a match, he won't say it before because too many times it's happened to him. But um, when he's when he's like killed every one of your buildings and you've like got a damaged power plant left or something, something like that, he will type a UAFK. And that's when he'll start typing easy. But a few times before he starts typing UAFK or easy and then proceeds to lose the game. So he has to, he has to now wait. <laughs> He has to now wait until until he absolutely knows <clears throat> that he's uh, that he's won a game. So yeah, what are your score predictions for this best of thirteen? Some of these games are likely to be very short because 
mirrors sometimes can be, uh, especially USA mirrors and air mirrors can be, can be short sometimes, a few minutes. But also if the game gets rolling and um, goes into the later stages, Raptors flying everywhere, support powers and stuff, four supplies each, all that kind of stuff, then it can, can uh, last anything from 20 minutes to 30 minutes even. I don't think I've seen air mirrors last like an hour, like GLA mirrors can. Man of War. Yo, man, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, he's good. Thanks. Yeah, I haven't seen you around here for a while. Hopefully you're back. Hopefully you're back to stay. Okay, let's hope for no PC crashes. Please, please, please. Okay, down in the south, we've got Fargo with the USA Air Force in the blue. Up in the north, we have Excal with the purple, USA Air Force. Both players are expected to probably go for a barracks first. May seem obvious, but some people will do a power plant, two spies, two airfields. But actually, among the pros and throughout this tournament, when I've seen the high-level players playing, pretty much always going to see a barracks first. Rarely. Rarely are you going to see something different. So Excal not opting for a weird strat. One of his weird strats was to do five MDs, drop, kill the power plant, and then bring the V with it and rush Fargo's strategy. Fargo pretty much always does three or five missile defender drop. Looks like he's going for three MDs. And is he going to drop the dozer or not? He's not going to drop the dozer. One important thing to take into account here, Excal is selling the CC. So it is going to get weird. It is selling the CC. One thing to take into account here is the positioning of the dozers. Positioning of the dozers does mean a lot. Laser lock comes here through on Excal's Chinook. Yeah, the positioning on the of the dozers. Is important because if that gets stopped making the airfield, it can go very bad. I don't know if that was a mistake from Excal selling the CC. Honestly, because I don't know what, what he's making behind this. I think it might have been a mistake. Because... He's very quickly going to be dozeless. Once that first wraps out, that doze is already pretty much dead. Or going to be dead any second now. But is Excal literally just going and all in with the, with the barracks here? It certainly looks like that. But the, any first wrap that comes here now. But actually, it's not going to because there's five missile defenders here that will be able to laser lock. Chinook here is going to get laser locked. Fargo is moving this out of the way. That Raptor will go down. So Excal just seems to be doing an all-in with the uh, <clears throat> with the with the barrack spam rather than dropping down an airfield behind it. Fargo now collecting from the middle. Excal does a GG, but I think he's doing a GG for Excal <laughs> for, for uh, Fargo though. I don't think he's doing a GG for himself. There's too many ranges here. Seems like got a DC issue or something. Fargo's DC. <laughs> That's a rage quit. <clears throat> That's got to be a rage quit. There can't be any possible way that you've literally just randomly DC'd. Look, Fargo rarely DCs, but Excal's literally just said GG, and then Fargo's instantly put it up to 64 <laughs> ping. I actually thought it was my PC crashing then, but I'm glad it's actually <laughs> it's actually not me for a change. That uh, looks intentional to me. What's Fargo saying, Effie? Stop your lag. I'm pretty sure that's intentional. I'm pretty sure that that is intentional. I played Fargo once as well in... Uh, that rush tournament thing that um, Excal hosted where you had to win as many games as possible in 50 minutes or something. And it was one of the games where I was messing around where I was easily winning the game. Where I was easily winning the game. <laughs> and all of a sudden the game just mismatched out of nowhere in like a 
in like a 10 minute game on a, on a 1v1 map, which is extremely rare. Mismatches sometimes happen in like a free for all and stuff, but too many weird things going on with Fargo, man. If you go back and actually watch Fargo against... Um... <clears throat> if you go back and watch Fargo against... Uh... Google World Series 2021 and go go and watch that set and see what happened at the point where Google's about to go 4-0 up and all of a sudden some random DC bug happened and Fargo did a comeback. Too many weird things happen with Fargo, man. It does. <clears throat> It is going to be over in 30 seconds, I agree. There is absolutely no way on earth that this is just a random fluke. There is no way. Both Staz and then if... If Staz... Uh, if that doesn't fix the issue... Then uh, I will leave as well. But it's pretty obvious, man. I don't, I don't need to say anything to convince you guys that it's pretty obvious what's happening here, isn't it? Fargo realized he's lost. x said <laughs> GG. And immediately, Fargo started counting down the ping shot up to 64 <laughs> ping. <laughs> Man, honestly, someone needs to do an investigation into this guy. <laughs> Look, I don't need to say anything, man. You can, you, you know, you know the truth here. You know. Did you vote Staz? Looks like Argo not voting. Pretty obvious. Fargo is like trying to. Delay the game or get a rematch out of it or something. Pretty. Uh, is, is it just me that thinks that? Uh, weird, man. Still a 64 ping. 26 now. <laughs> but I'm not convinced it's going to fix with Staz out. I think it was Fargo. I mean, we'll quit. We'll quit just to see if they get it finished. But, I mean, that's pretty obvious, man. Someone really needs to do an investigation into Fargo, honestly. While that's happening, let me show you something. Fargo versus Google World Series. Right, it was here, look. This same thing happened here on this video. You want to go back and watch this from 14th of June, 2021. Um, there was this game happening here. Um, where Google was in a really, really decent position. He'd opened up his Air Force. He'd opened up his Air Force. And uh, was comfortably winning against him. There was, no, there was no way he was going to lose... Google's ahead in every... In every uh, is this actually the rematch or not? Uh, that's the first game. Yeah, he had like five bases up. He had Vs. He had Raptors flying around. He's got strategy center happening and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, all of these Vs. Then the game randomly... Um, as he's about to go 4-1 down, the game randomly DC screens and just comes up with this massive bug. And then in the rematch, Fargo wins the rematch by doing an all-out rush, completely changes the strategy. Honestly, man, the... the Fargo does need to be investigated. Some of this weird stuff. Like, that game's still apparently bugged there, but that was clearly an X-Cal win.
<laughs> yeah, we want to lay off Fargo a little bit because otherwise he might just leave and it might just be over. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was me. <laughs> Right, well, it's 1-0. There's no way on earth that Fargo is going to win that. <clears throat> yeah, let's, let's lay off him a little bit. PS has dominated Salty because he got knocked out of the tournament by Fargo. Not at all, but if I see dodgy things happen so many times in a row, you've got to question it. <clears throat> I could show you probably four or five examples of where weird stuff like that's happening. If you, if you don't think that game was just intentional, we just watched there. Then honestly, you need to re re rethink life. <laughs> that looked so intentional. XL said GG when Fargo realized it was over and immediately Fargo starts counting down and the pin goes to 64. Come on, man. Use your brain. Okay, down the south, we've got XCAL in the purple USA Air Force. Up in the north, we've got Fargo with the USA Air Force in the blue. Also selling his CC, like Excal did in the previous game. Fargo looks like he's going to be going for a combat Chinook. Going for three MDs drop, as well as a Ranger and a few missile defenders. Excal's spreading some Rangers around. Fargo going to go in for the crush here, and I think he's going to get it. Does get the crush. It's quite important, actually. Very, very important. That drop absolutely does nothing at all. Exile now needs to get a load of missile defenders spammed around this position and get that Raptor off the ground. Here comes a drop from Fargo. <clears throat> there is a Ranger here, though, from Exile. First there says, was Exile actually going to win? Not convinced. Need to play more Air Mirror, man. I've played so many Air Mirrors, and when you've got that amount of infantry in your base, please tell me what you're going to do. You can start spamming from your barracks, but when the other player's already got 10 more infantry than you, and you're both spamming out the barracks, trust me, you're going to lose. Not 100% dead cert. This is like looking like a win by Fargo, by the way. Not 100% dead cert, but I mean, it's a 90% X-Gal win that. Trust me. But, I mean, let the, let the tournament hosts decide. Looks like Fargo's already conceded the loss, by the way. Fargo now going for the power plant. That will stop the King Raptor getting off. Hits the dozer, so there's no more dozer there for X-Gal. This uh, combat nuke is pretty injured. There's a V heading across the map. King Raptor can still be produced. Fargo wants to come in. Needs to be careful though, because if that gets hit even a little bit, we'll be uh, we'll be going down. Fargo only collecting on one Chinook here. Fargo now evacs his stuff. <clears throat> this guy does have a hell of a lot of infantry and still has the airfield, so still has a big, big potential to win. I actually probably now will give the favor to Excal, even though he's hunted. He does have more infantry. He has more Chinooks to collect, which I don't even know where they are at the moment. V here has gone down, although it has damaged his barracks a lot. So Fargo, this is going to be a hell of a weird game. Fargo just really now needs to hold on to the infantry once he kills this. He's going to get a veterancy from that uh, barracks kill. It's actually Fargo, Chinook. Fargo needs to go back, I think. Uh, there's a lot of infantry here. Uh, Excal is now under pressure because he has a V parked right outside his airfield. So that King Raptor now could go down. It is going to take off. The airfield is a little bit low just because of the damage there, the splash fire from the V. But actually, Fargo does not have a hell of a lot right now. There is another V now here. Is it going to be able to take down that Raptor in time? No, I don't know. But I'm about to get the crush here on these units. It is going to get the crush. But that V is now going to go down because that Raptor is already reloaded. Let's take down a little bit more of the HP. Here is another Raptor from Excal. Could hunt Fargo as well or just kill one of the Schnooks. Let's kill one of the Schnooks. Fargo in a lot of trouble. Only got one Schnook to his name and a pilot. That's it. Fargo just quits. That was a really nice try, but... You have been At a top level, it's rare to see a combat you can actually work. It, it did look good. It did look really good when he was on top of like the uh, top of the airfield, killing the raptor, killed the power, killed the dozers, but then just didn't have the 
the, the Chinooks collecting an earthy on the other war factory. Maybe you should have sold the war factory built an airfield. I don't know. 204 XCAL. Okay, Fargo got an uphill battle. From this point, he is 2-0 down. He's now down in the south with the class as better spot on Tournament Desert, the south spot. With the blue USA Air Force. Up in the north, we have Excal with the purple. USA Air Force also. Every game has been... Air Mirror on Tournament Desert. Throughout this whole tournament, you may think that game gets still a little bit boring, but we're still st seeing unique, weird games pretty much all of the time. Got a barracks being dropped down here by Fargo, as well as two supplies. A lot of people now dropping these supplies down closer and closer to their CC when... I remember back when you used to spam quick match and you'd get an air mirror, you used to drop the supply down as close to the supply as actual possible. Because then your Chinooks will collect closer if it comes into a Raptor wall later on. Uh, then your Chinooks have more chance to be bunched up and protect. Both players have sold the CC. This is very, very weird for an air mirror. Argo is going for... An airfield. Fargo is basically copying the strat that Excal did in the first game. Excal has dropped three MDs and building a barracks. Mohammed in the chat says it'll be an easy 7 0. Possible. Excal's dozer here is getting laser locked, but Excal is also covering it with his Chinook. Well, almost kills his own dozer, actually. Actually, that one does go down eventually because it went inside the building temporarily. It did go down eventually. It does, uh, does change things. His laser lock now from Fargo on Excal's Chinooks. Excal pulls his Chinooks, but this one has been left. That one is going to go down, actually, from Excal. Let's go down. You can leave. A little bit early for Fargo to be saying that, I think. Although Fargo is in this position as well. Excal does have a lot of infantry. Excal's still collecting. Oh, Dozer here goes down for Fargo. This Chinook's slowly taking damage. Very, very slowly. Fargo now has a lot of infantry here. And he's able to turn this around. He still has a dozer here, and he's actually bringing a King Raptor over to Excal's base. I think he thought about shooting that for a second. Oh, Fargo's going to get hunted. Fargo does get hunted. Fargo is hunted. Excal still has a dozer over here. Another Chinook here for Excal does go down. Excal has two Chinooks now, and still has this barracks to deal with in his base. Looking like this finals might be heating up. Fargo's going to get himself on the scoreboard. Excal's now dropping down a war factory. Fargo says, if you want Vs, you need money. <laughs> uh, to be fair, he's got a point. He has got a point. <clears throat> Here comes a V. I think he's going to try and drop it on top of the airfield with this Chinook. Or, or maybe just kill these missile defenders. Just kill these missile defenders. Here comes the King Raptor of Fargo. Takes down the Chinook. Excal now on two Chinooks over on this right side. There's a lot of infantry here for Fargo. Is he going to start shooting the War Factory? Or what is he going to do? He's going to start shooting the War Factory. 
the for Excal thinks about moving around. I think Excal is just trying to make this as painful as possible now for Fargo. He has got a small chance, but I mean, we're close to zero now because it's airfield, two Raptors. Fargo's still collecting on decent amount of Schnooks. Fargo says you've got this 100%. Fargo now bringing the Comanche over. Excal has no barracks over here. Excel says one second in lag switch on dummy stump lagging. <laughs> don't leave, says Fargo. He just told him to leave and now he's saying don't leave. Well, 2 1. I have to say that whilst Fargo, uh, like as an observer and as everyone viewing here, we love drama and we love to watch this and whatever. But in. When you're actually playing him and you're on the same level as him or, or around the same level or whatever, and you're actually competing and someone's talking to you like that, it's not nice and it's not good. And it's not good for, uh, I mean, if we ever do the big Aces land that um, I was talking about before um, on the forums, it's, n it's not a good look and uh, really toxic, horrible people. I mean, his language so far has been kind of okay. Sometimes he, uh, sometimes he does get quite abusive, like calling people pathetic morons and stuff like that it's not it's not stuff you want to hear and see and like like i say as a streamer and as a viewer yeah it's totally fine but trust me when you're there and you compete in and it's like a 5-5 scoreline or a 5-5 scoreline and people are speaking to you like that it's not very nice you think like why why i'm even here someone speaking to me like this and like you can block and mute them in the in the game but here they can still obviously talk but yeah i personally don't like it too much Two one, Excal is still leading, but Fargo has got himself on the scoreboard. Excal now in the strongest spot down in the bottom, with the USA Air Force in the purple. Up in the top spot, we have Fargo with the USA Air Force in the blue. There is a chunky delay on the stream. It's like almost two minutes but i think in air mirror even if there was a 30 second delay i don't think it's really anything that can help you too much it's not like in a gla mirror where you need to see how many markets someone has or whatever everything's so fast paced in air mirror by the time you saw anything on a 30 second delay or whatever your uh, your advantage probably would be nullified So, very strange strat. CC has pretty much been sold every single game by at least one of the players or both. <laughs> Got Excal going for an airfield and a barrack, same as before. He's coming in with a drop. Fargo looks like he's going for some kind of combat shenouk drop again. Same thing as before. I mean, it didn't work out for him before, so does he feel? Does he really feel the need to do this again? Not quite sure what that shenouk is doing, but it looks like a mistake there from Fargo. He does pull it eventually. Doesn't go down to the slow speed, which is obviously... Still okay for him. Is this those are going to escape? Sometimes it laser locks through the power plant, and you might be able to actually kill the power plant with the laser lock as well. Looks like you will kill the power. I mean, killing the power there is very important. You'll kill the dozer as well. Now, did Excal drop the other dozer? No, he didn't. It's actually over here. That's an Excal Chinook that he's brought back. Here's the combat Chinook of Fargo. Got three missile defenders and a ranger in it. Problem is, like, when you start flying... Oh, he's killed one dozer. Problem is, when you start flying around all these missile defenders, though, that's when it causes problems. Do you want to bring a Chinook with it as well? He is going to get the dozer hunt. But he's already taken a hell of a lot of damage on that, and he's not even killed the dozer yet. Definitely want to kill that dozer. You definitely want to kill that dozer. What is he doing, man? Why isn't he... Is he, is he just waiting for the King Raptor to come? I think Fargo playing a little bit panicky. I'm not convinced you need to combat Chinook Rush as the top player every time. Combat Chinook goes down. Fargo Schnooks goes down here. That one missile defender won't really achieve much. Might kill the dozer, but it's not going to uh, get past the PDL of the Schnooks. Yeah, this game is already over. Fargo going for the same strat again, and it actually failing even more miserably. Um, not convinced that you need to combat Schnook Rush every time as the top player. But it is very interesting what this $1,000 tournament has done. It's basically changed the meta. At the top level of Air Mirror. 
it has changed the meta. You You'd think after 18 years, you would changing the meta would basically be impossible. But it just shows you. Like, imagine if we had hundreds of StarCraft 2 players playing this all the time, spamming 12 hours a day. The meta on everything would just change completely because we're obviously not playing it enough. But one $1,000 tournament of Air Mirror only on Tournament Desert, and the meta's changed a hell of a lot. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, what, what do you think? Let us know in the stream chat. What do you, if we had loads of StarCraft 2, let's say we had tens of thousands of StarCraft 2 players, all with a million APM. What matchups do you think would change the most? <clears throat> and would matches in general last a lot longer if everyone was like playing super crazy good? Or would Air Force just win against everything more quickly? V's, V's and micro V's, no eco would pretty much reign supreme. No, no eco would be impossible to stop with that crazy APM and, and micro, maybe. Anyway, we've got Fargo down in the south with the blue USA Air Force. Up in the north, we have Excal with the purple USA Air Force also, because we are only on Tournament Desert and we're only on an Air Force Mirror Tournament. Hustler Harder says, that's why the saltiness is for 1k, uh, 1k of cash. Well, Fargo does it every single tournament or every single challenge, whether it's for zero cash, $50 or 100 or or 1,000. So that's wrong. It's not just because it's 1,000. Three one four x Cal. Fargo is doing a War Factory again. War Factory and an airfield this time. Um, x Cal has sold his CC and is seemingly maybe going for that 5MD drop with the uh, with the V. I think that's what he is going for. Fargo seems to be going for a combat Chinook again. Hmm. Not sure about <laughs> about that. Let's see, let's see. He drops our three MDs under Excal's supply. Is Excal gonna move these Chinooks out in time? He is. Big MD drop here from Excal though. Is he gonna laser lock the combat Chinook in time? No, he's not. I think Fargo's in an alright position here. He's gonna be able to clear this up. This combat Chinook here. Needs to now come back and pick up some MDs at least so he can take out this V. Combat Chinook does get loaded up. Excal needs to laser lock it, but Fargo could just move one of his other Chinooks there with it to defend it. Uh, what is he going to try and go for? He's going to try and get this V, pick off the V, and then he will use uh, just one Ranger, yeah, just to clear that up. So yeah, nicely played there from Fargo. He might kill his own Dozer here. Almost kills his own Dozer. Can they put that in the War Factory to... Um, Fix things. But yeah, the thing is now, he's flying around with his combat Chinook. He's going to go for the power. It's an important building to pick off, definitely. The Dozers are still alive here for Excal. Problem is, though, that you'll be against a, a load of missile defenders there on the ground, and your combat Chinook is going to struggle to come in and. Okay, guys, hopefully we are back. Do apologize. PC crash again. Just double check the score is 3 2. Because it looked like a Fargo win that one. Yeah, man, he's computer issues. I think after after today's stream, there's going to be no streams for a while while I try and figure out what's going on. I'll try to webcam off for a bit.
Okej, okay, okej. Okay. Yeah, we'll travel the webcam off for a bit. Fix things, let's see. We'll travel the bot off as well. I think my uh, computer is screwed. <laughs> yeah, Fargo's now using that as an excuse for that first game where he DC'd. <laughs> but that first game was clearly him. Clearly, clearly him. Okay, down in South, we've got Excal with the purple USA Air Force. Up in North, we've got Fargo with the blue USA Air Force as well. At least with Air Mirror, sometimes the games seem to be pretty quick. Excal did lose that previous game. Fargo's combat actually seemed to pay off for the first time. Uh, but yeah, at least Air Force Mirrors tend to be pretty quick. So hopefully we get through his best of 13. I'll end the stream and I'm going to have to change my hardware, basically, yeah. Hardware compatibility seems to be the issue. Okay, so we've got Excal going for a drop with three MDs plus one airfield. It seems to be pretty much the same thing over and over. Uh, CC cell, barracks, airfield. Fargo going for a war factory and a barracks seems to be going for a combat snook again. It's going for a drop here on this dozer. Is he going to kill that dozer? It certainly looks like he's going to get that dozer there of Excal's. Excal tries to bring his new to block it, but does not do it in time. Excal going for a drop here and Fargo's bringing in this dozer and actually getting the crushes on a hell of a lot of stuff. And actually Fargo's brought his... Chinook there and crushed a lot of stuff and saved this dozer almost, but then he moves his Chinook in the wrong place, loses the dozer eventually. It's a big thing that, because you could have dropped down a barracks and made the situation even worse there for Excal. Oh, my Chinook is now on the way from Fargo. Blaze Lock comes in. Oh, Nuke is already here now. He's bringing the Chinook to pick up more missile defenders. Now he's going to try and go for this King Raptor. Is he going to get the King Raptor in time? It looks like he may not actually get it. And the Chinook is now going to go down. Yeah, it's going to go down. Hmm. These combat Chinook rushes are not working. <laughs> not working. What a looker. And then he's just going to quit. Full CC. Can't kill Raptor. Ruffle. And that's it. <laughs> oh, not very respectful, is it? Okay, 4-2. We'll let Fargo be the host then if he uh, thinks it's better with Fargo as the host. Welcome, uh, ZMC. Um, okay, Fargo is posted. Okay, 4 2 4 X Gal just needs three more for the victory. Excal will now play the top spot. Reza said, is it only air games? Yes, it's an Air Force Mirror Tournament on Tournament Desert. That's what the sponsor wanted. That's what he will get. Down in the south, we've got Fargo with the USA Air Force in the blue. Up in the north, we've got USA Air Force in the purple for Excal. Domi, could you ask Fargo if he is wearing the tennis clothes I gifted him? <laughs> John McKenna, thank you very much for the donation, man. I will ask him in the next, uh, uh, in the next, uh, in the next, uh, in the next uh, game when he's when he hosts. I'll ask him. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, man. Okay, so we've got Lazlock on the drone here from Fargo. 
Excal going for two supplies, three MDs, and an airfield. Almost to drop them from Fargo, but I think he cancelled it. Lays lock here from Excal, but it's not going to stop the airfield in time. Three MDs here from Excal. Oh, sorry, from Fargo. Bit of miss micro there from both players. Fargo does keep all of his MDs there alive. Loses one Chinook. I guess I was only collecting on one Chinook actually. Uh, Fargo's gonna lose the dozer. I think he could have saved that though if he'd flown a Chinook over it or if he'd done a little bit of better crush. King Raptor from Excal takes out one of the Chinooks of Fargo. Fargo collecting on two Chinooks. Got a missile defender still running around here. Fargo's actually collecting from here as well. So Fargo actually is on three Chinooks. He's actually stealing from Excal's supply. Here's King Raptor now from Fargo. DDF in the chat says this map is bad for Amiris. Listen, man, you don't have to watch. No one's asking you to be here. Honestly, if you find it boring or if you don't want to watch it, honestly, you can you can close the stream. Oh, it looks like he's going for the oil cap. And it ranges all over the place. We might be getting our first normal-ish game, but I think uh, Fargo is ahead. In terms of uh, economy, because he's got more Chinooks collecting at the moment. I thought he was going to go for a split fire there, but didn't actually. I think uh, Fargo now might get that oil. I think that dozer is a little bit late. Fargo looks like he's going to get these oils here as well. Fargo does stop that dozer in time. It probably would have got there, actually. So that's a nice hit there from Fargo. Fargo flying around the base of Excal. He's also still collecting money from Excal's supply. He's probably collected more money from that supply than Excal actually has himself. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, Fargo now on one oil as well. Excal is picking off the schnooks of Fargo as well, though. Fargo now building another power plant. Uh, Excal's economy is not very good at all. He's got a couple of raptors. Trying to get this oil, but he has no Chinooks at all at the moment. Excal is trying to get this oil now, but is Fargo going to be able to stop that? Another airfield now being dropped down by Fargo. Uh, Fargo tried to split fire, but didn't have enough missiles to actually hit that last Ranger. Excal will be allowed to get one oil, but he is on no Chinooks, so he's going to be, uh, have to spend that money on Chinooks. Fargo now on a lot of uh, Chinooks over here, collecting from this one supply only. Excal tries to kill both of these, but does not not get them and GG. Well played there to Fargo. No GG or anything in Fargo. <laughs> Just quits. 4-3 uh, is now the score. Okay. Pretty close so far, but Fargo still needs to win another one just to equalize. Never mind, win the set. Fargo will now play with the top spot.
Yeah, top spot considered weaker by many, although we have seen it win a number of times. Needs to do the position of the dozers and how fast you get your supplies up and stuff. Okay, so up in the north we have Fargo with the blue USA Air Force. Down in the south we have OEX Gal with the purple, also USA Air Force. Yeah, and DDF says it's not about the map only. He's been watching the stream for six years. Yeah, well, got to understand when some guy brings to the table $1,000 and says, I want to see an air mirror tournament on Tournament Desert. That is exactly what tournament is going to happen. So, so Wind Beachman, who sponsored this, put up $1,000 and said, I want to see an air mirror tournament and it can only be played on Tournament Desert. That's it. So you... People who want to play it, play it. People who want to watch it, watch it. If you find it boring or whatever, if you've got a comment, tell tell the sponsor. But to be honest, I'm happy that someone has put up a thousand dollars into Zero. It doesn't matter if it's China only on snowy drought or air mirror on tournament desert. Maybe there are better ways of spending the one thousand dollars, but if someone specifically wants to see that and pays one grand to see it, then they can see it. Trust me. <clears throat> Okay, so Excal going for the more traditional 3MDs and the barracks. Fargo now going for a double barracks to try and shut this down. He's also going for a drop here in Excal's base. Fargo's actually collecting a little bit from this supply and is now going to pick up his MDs over here. Okay, Excal making sure he gets five MDs there, because five is the key number to break through the PDL of the King Raptor. Excal taking some damage here on this Chinook. Argo probably better not make a, a King Raptor here anytime soon, because it will get laser locked straight away and go down. Excal now going to capture uh, the base. Fargo. Fargo going to bring round some ranges. He's actually just going to sell his airfield. Going to have no airfields out on an air mirror. <laughs> Excel's actually dropping down a war factory. That's a lot of infantry there from Excal. I think Fargo's going to have trouble trouble uh, closing this down. Although he is spamming from two barracks. But now there's a V out. These rangers are going to have a hard time. He needs to mix in missile defenders and rangers. Missile defenders here from Fargo. Going to try and laser lock this. But Excal is also dropping down an airfield. Back at home. And he's captured one oil there as well. So this is looking really, really good now for Excal. In like a 5-3 situation. Excal's one and truly capturing the base, and Fargo doesn't have much of an answer for this at the moment. Remember the winner of this gets $1,000. Uh, first to win seven games. Excal is just capturing all of the buildings. Fargo is in a lot of trouble. He's got next to zero chance of winning this game. He's collecting on two Chinooks over here, but he's selling his whole base. Excal's even building an airfield now in Fargo's base. Fargo just quits. GG. Well played to Excal. 5-3 is the score.
Okay, Fargo doesn't want to open this lock. Fargo now with the south position. He is 5-3 down. Ne needs this win. To make this set remain... To remain close. Otherwise, next count will be 3 in the lead. Okay, down to south. We've got Fargo with the USA Air Force. Up in the north, we've got Excal with the USA Air Force in the purple. Both players sticking with their trusty same colors. Excal with purple, Fargo with blue. Both players pretty much always dropping down to barracks first. Excal is making missile defenders, looking like he's going to go for a drop. Is he going to bring a dozer as well or not? He's actually done a little bit of a box here. He's going to bring... Oh, messed up a little bit there. He's going to bring not the dozer, actually. Or is he going to bring the dozer? Uh, not going to bring the dozer. I think he may, may have thought about it, but did he mess that up a little bit? I think maybe. Maybe a little missed click or so. Okay, Fargo dropping down an airfield. He has his barracks and also going in for a drop. Both players going for a drop at roughly the same time. Blaze Lock comes in here on Fargo's Chinook. Fargo does his drop as well, but he's going to pick it up now and move it over to the right side. Axgal also going to pick up and move over to this right side. I'm going to try and Blaze Lock something over here instead. Fargo quick to move his Chinook though and actually goes over here to drop off instead. And Fargo... Loses one missile defender. That does make a big difference because it makes it a lot harder to take out the Chinooks now. Next count now with a laser lock on one of Fargo's Chinooks. And that one is going to go down. It's not looking good for Fargo so far. Excal is now circling with a wrap over here. I think he can now go in and hit one of these Chinooks. And he hits this one and gets it. Very, very well played. Anthony 85 in the chat says Fargo lost three games to Rangers. True, and it sounds pathetic, as Fargo would call it. But actually, when you've got a lot of Rangers in your base, and your barracks is producing Rangers, and the Rangers are basically right there camping it or, or whatever, it sounds trivial and sounds silly, but actually, it's a viable strat. If there's a load of guys waiting there with machine guns, when your Rangers are coming out, they can go down. Fargo loses one more Chinook. This drop here from Fargo hasn't really achieved much at all. Excal's still collecting on three Chinooks. He's trying to get his oil by the looks of things. Another Chinook target, but this time... Looks like Fargo will successfully defend both shots there of the King Raptors. Excal, I think, will be upgrading the capture. Upgrade right now. Is looking like a 6 3 situation. Yeah, Fargo just quits. He loses all of his Chinooks. GG. Yeah, Fargo won't say GG. We'll say GG for him. 6 3 is the score. <clears throat> Xcal just needs one more to take the $1,000. Fargo needs to win four games in a row from this point.
Okay, down in the south, we've got Excal with the purple USA Air Force. Up in the north, we've got Fargo with the blue USA Air Force. Considered the weakest spot, and I think pretty much every time he's played in the top spot, he has lost the game. He's gone for combat nukes and all kinds of all-ins and lost the games. This might be the final one. I think when Excal is in the bottom spot, he's more or less won most of the time. Three MDs here being picked up by Excal. He's keeping his CC this time. Fargo is going for an airfield and uh, a drop of his own. Uh, Fargo's only collecting on two Chinooks, making some ranges here. Three MD drop comes in and he's going to hit that dozer. Let's stop the airfield getting up. Fargo needs a start like that if he's to win this game. Stopping the airfield is a massive, massive blow. Excal's trying to bring his dozer in to maybe get there eventually and finish off that airfield but Fargo seems to be following it where is he going he's going to drop here instead is he now going to pick up and redrop over there I think that's what he needs to do he needs to stop that dozer from building the airfield please look here from Excal and Fargo Chinooks Fargo's delayed the airfield but yeah he's not stopped that second dozer I think if you stop that second dozer that's a very big advantage He's choosing to drop over here instead. And the Chinook here is taking damage. Excal is going to lose the Chinook, actually, to just two missile defenders. Pretty surprised about that. But there is three MDs still in Fargo's base. Fargo's chasing this with a Ranger. I think, all things considered, Fargo's start here is very nice. Anthony 85 says, too bad Marikar lost the size. Well, Marikar lost twice. He lost the size and he lost to me. In this tournament, anyway. But Marikar was just, in every game, just doing the same thing over and over again. It's just three MDs and the dose drop every single game and two supplies. It was just getting a little bit boring for me <laughs> to watch, honestly. <laughs> Like, without fail, always the same. I do like it when things get mixed up a little bit. The games are kind of normalizing here now. We've got two airfields up, one, one for each player. Excal is losing Chinooks here on this right side. Uh, Fargo has three, sh three Raptors in the air. I think Excal is trying to come in. Pick something off. He's actually got two Raptors here now and a third on the way. Excal now going for the oil capture over here on this left hand side. Excal flying around with four, sh four Raptors. He's trying to protect his current Raptors here. Looks like he actually might be able to capture this oil. Fargo is on the way there, but there's two Rangers versus one. Excal's already shooting that one. Excal might actually just go over here and shoot this airfield, but Fargo's dropping down the second airfield. Fargo's collecting just on three Chinooks on his, uh, his main base over here. This is probably the most normalist game we've had. One of the Raptors there for Fargo takes out one of the Chinooks there of Excal. Four King Raptors now of Fargo entering the base of Excal. Is he going to be able to take out this airfield? Doesn't look like it, although it is going to go a little bit low. Nice defense there from Excal. Always keeping that one Raptor flying around, blocking a lot of the missiles there of Fargo. This one is actually pretty low as well, so Excal might actually be able to take out that one now. Fargo needs to fly something around. But actually, Fargo has landed most of them on the full HP airfield.
Nice hit there from Fargo. Eventually takes out the airfield. He actually tried to force fire in between and mostly did work. He almost killed the supply there as well. Excal's now in a base with Rangers, and we know uh, Fargo has lost a few games to the Rangers in his base so far. Ooh, nice hit there from Excal. Takes out one of the airfields there of Fargo as well. Fargo has another airfield over here on the left, though, and I don't know if Excal necessarily knows about that one. KYAW in the chat. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Kaya? So Kaya or something? Yeah, $1,000 winner takes all. There's nothing for second place. Fargo doing kind of good here. He's trying to take out a load of Chinooks. I think actually targeting that one there first would have been a better idea. Let's take it out eventually. Excal's now only on three Chinooks. He still has that oil. Actually capturing the base of Fargo here again. Fargo rebuilding this airfield over here on this right side. Excal now bringing in his Raptors. Split fire there. Very nice from Fargo. There are five Raptors from Excal here. Takes out the airfield there of Fargo. Very, very nice hit. Excal now has four airfields. King Raps is now circling for Fargo. It's coming in after the Chinooks once again. So Excal's primarily hitting airfields and killing Raptors, whereas Fargo is predominantly hitting the Chinooks. Excal now bringing in another wave of King Raptors going for this airfield once again. Get some veterancy there on that King Raptor as well. And hits one of the dozers. Still got this other airfield over here. I don't know if Excal knows about that. I think he does because he has rangers here. He had them there before. But Excal will um, have to kill this other airfield soon as well. Argo now entering the base with a few rangers. Argo hitting the Chinooks over and over. Only one Chinook now remains for Excal. Fargo dropping down even more airfields. Two Raptors circling. Actually, there's quite a few. Still got five Raptors in the air, considering how many airfields and stuff that he's lost. Excal, what is he going to hit now? Got four Raptors circling. Is going for the supply. A little bit overkill on that one. I think if you got missiles left, hit that one. Fargo needs to probably cancel that. Because now he hasn't got enough money to build a supply. He needs to cancel that airfield. To get some money back. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. He does. And he is doing. Here comes Excal, though, with another Raptor. He's going to hit this Dozer. But there is another Dozer right by it. Can finish the uh, can finish the construction. But Excal, because he's primarily been hitting buildings, is head in terms of XP. Argo is trying to cover this with a load of Chinooks. Excal hitting the power now. And another power. Looks like Fargo is getting picked off. He has a load of Chinooks waiting to drop off some money, which is good for him. He's going to have a load of cash soon. Uh, and he does have a load of Rangers, actually. So he might be able to take over Excal's base, because what you can do, send all the Rangers in, capture all the buildings, and then you can use the Raptors here to defend against Comanches and stuff like that. I think actually hitting Excal's oil would be a good idea. As I say that, it does ooh, almost go down. It survives a very tiny amount of HP. Is he gonna, Has he got any missiles left to hit that? I'm not sure. Pathfinder is now out for Excal, so if all these rangers enter the base, that Pathfinder is just going to clear everything up. Spectre in the base, and it really looks like Excal is going to close this one out. Fargo does not have enough money for a supply now, and he's selling his CC. He's going to get $1,000 for that. He's circling with his King Raptors. Uh, Dozer is going to rebuild this supply. Once he drops off a load of money, then he can rebuild his CC, but Excal likes the Dozer hunt. And there's no other time better to doze hunt than now.
Excal not actually going for the Dozer Hunt just yet. Oh, does go for it now and actually breaks through the point defense lasers of all the Schnooks. And it looks like the $1,000 is going to Excal. GG, well played. I'll go there with some obscenity. Quite a toxic character in general. Didn't say GG or well played or anything nice throughout that whole set. And the first game, you could probably say that was an intentional lag. <laughs> in my opinion, anyway. You can uh, you can rewind the stream, watch that first game, make the mind up yourself. Seven three, we got there in the end with only one crash on my PC. <laughs> oh man, I need to fix my PC badly. Yeah, well played to Xgal GG, well played indeed. Oops. GG, well played. If we have a look at the... Uh... Congrats. We have a look at the tournament again. Like Scale saying, do you want to see a bug you don't know? Okay. Like Scale's offering to show us a bug. Okay. Don't know if, uh, maybe Stas wants to see what bug is he going to show here? He wants to show us some bug. Let's see if this is allowed. <laughs> Buggy wants to show us. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, let's call Excal. Okay, okay, let's call Excal. People are asking for an interview anyway. <clears throat> yo, yo. Hello? Can, can you hear me? Can't hear you, Excal, by the way. I don't know if my sound's messed up or what. Clock did. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Ah, oh, nice. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was intense. Some flames back and forth, as always. <laughs> but, yeah, a little bit wonky in terms of uh, the games, right? Not not your standard air mirror. Definitely, you're saying how the meta has changed. Yeah. Well, during uh, a little bit of um, tip spell... Support yeah, and yeah. <laughs> so thank you to them. We found this. So I'm just going to make um, What's the story? a few supplies. Yeah. But if you could prepare like a massive job. Okay. We came across the most bizarre thing, which was V's killing Chinooks without Tovi. <laughs> okay. Is that is that the God Air, God, God mode thing? Or not? Yeah, do you know that? Yeah, yeah, I know that. Oh, you know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no getting past you on the bug then. <laughs> you have to guard very far away, yeah, and you shoot the Chinook. That one. Yeah, you you guard outside of the Chinook. Um, right. Uh, yeah, range. You, yeah, yeah. Guard mode the MDs and it kills the Chinook. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be some pissed off people in the chat now for me showing people this, but I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to come to your base. <laughs> well, I think this sort of reaction never happens, but I just found it very, uh, we found it funny, really. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, you mean, oh, as in, what are you? Oh, Oh, we found a different way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, show me. What, what, what should I do? Do you want me to drop? What, what so you... If you drop all your MDs, say, um, down a bit from my CC. Yeah. Oh, sign in for this. Okay. Everyone out. Maybe, yeah, left a little bit more, just so I've got a bit of a run up. Okay. I'll just make a few more. I get the I'll sign in for this. I'll fire at anything. Something for everyone. Right, if you put your Chinook in between... In between them, yeah. 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 Right. 
So you're going to guard mode on my MDs, I think, and then it's going to shoot my Chinook on the way. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. The Chinook's literally going to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen a Chinook die that fast. I've seen it, I've seen it like just chip away right. at a HP, but you literally just wiped out the Chinook. Yeah, so that was a bit random, but there you go. There we go. The whole online experience for everyone now is now ruined. Everyone will be doing that. <laughs> no, nah, I think oh, that well. it did already get raised in the 1.04 plus patch notes and it's going to get fixed. Right. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. just think it never happens because of that. You never really have a Chinook and MD sitting there against these, but it was just funny to come across. Mm, yeah, true. Did you see the stream yesterday where, I don't know if you watched it back, where we heard the sound of the Spectre. Did you Did you hear that? Yeah, I saw you upload that. Very interesting, <laughs> yeah. Odd stuff. Crazy. All right, I'll let you cool. crack on. Thanks yeah, well, congrats. Bye. And uh, Thanks a lot. Yeah, speak to you soon. GG. All right, GG. See ya. Okay then guys, that's gonna end it there. Um now gonna run off and try to fix my PC issues, whether that means buying all new hardware, which is probably where I'm at now. <laughs> but just to recap on the uh on the tournament. Uh this was the This was the um the topic where the, the tournament was, and then if we look on the bracket. You can basically see the path uh, everyone took. So actually, yeah, someone mentioned Marikar before. Marikar was actually having a very good run, but then Big Size knocked him out here, 5-4. Um, Xcal had a pretty comfortable run all the way through there, knocked out Big Size there, and knocked out Xcal in the kind of, want to call it semi-finals, and that was the real finals. It's double elimination. Um, I beat Boyka there, 5-0. Margo defeated me, 6-2. Came out of easies, he typed in that you can imagine <laughs> then i got knocked down to the loser bracket i beat marika 5-3 big size beat spl 5-1 big size then knocked me out and big size then also lost to fargo i don't think i actually saw that set i don't know if i saw that set anyway but then x gal won it ultimately one thousand dollars winner takes all so second third fourth place don't get anything the first place is one thousand dollars for x gal so very very nice load of pocket money for him there so ggs well played congratulations again to xcal and uh i'm gonna try and fix my issues out and maybe we'll do some more streams over the coming weeks but certainly not for the next few days until i fix it <laughs> right ggs well played and see you in the next one